This is cellulose. The plants around you are made of about 50% cellulose. It's found mostly in the cell walls. This is what cellulose looks like on a molecular level. However, in its current form, it's not really useful for energy. So, we need to convert it somehow. And to do that, we need high temperature, lack of oxygen, and a zeolite catalyst. One of the tools we can use to convert biomass is the pyroprobe. The pyroprobe allows us to screen many different types of biomasses and catalysts for thermochemical conversion. The biomass is loaded into a very small tube and then placed in a coil. The coil is then heated at whatever rate we want to whatever temperature we want. As the wand is heating up, the cellulose and other chemicals in the biomass break down and form liquid products. These liquid products then get sent to the gas chromatograph and are analyzed for the components they contain. On a small scale, these can just be analyzed, but on a large scale, these compounds can be collected and used for bio oil. This is a spouted bed reactor. It's pretty much a large scale version of what's happening on the pyroprobe. Sometimes when you're dealing with pyrolysis, scale up can be an issue. So it's important to study it on both the small and the large scale. This is a gas fire we have at C2E2. We use it for converting all sorts of solid biomass waste. The biomass is loaded up into the top of the hopper and then it falls down into the furnace where it's gasified at temperatures over 700 degrees C. The products then come out up the top and we get mainly hydrogen, methane, CO, CO2, and water. And what we really want is the combination of hydrogen and CO, also known as syngas. And while it might be deadly to humans, it could be also used for creating large hydrocarbons and powering fuel cells too. So, now that we've undergone our thermochemical conversion and cracked our cellulose, we end up with some useful products, like toluene. Toluene is useful because it makes up about 20% of fuel gasoline today.